How, why did I lose? Well, I need, well, I got tired. Okay, I need to run. Why, why, do, oh, he hits harder than me. I need to get stronger. He's faster than me. His, his jab's quicker than mine. He's, and I just broke it down and thought, why am I losing? Um, and when you, when you look at life that way, if you construct it and you break it down into the whys, you know what the battle plan is. I, I see this all the time, like on, on Twitter and stuff. People are like, oh, my life's shit. My life's shit. And I'm like, why? And they're like, oh, because X, Y, Z. And I'm like, well, if you know why it's shit, you already know what the problems are. Why are you coming to me for advice? Like, what do you want me to do about it? You know what the problem is. You know, I'm overweight. Why? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Well, you eat too much. I need to go to the gym. You know why you're overweight. You just don't want to do anything about it. So with me, my whole mindset from a very young age is working out where the mistakes are made and rectify them. And and in my first day in the kickboxing gym, I got knocked out clean and sleep. But um, I was back the next day with my gloves saying, look, fuck you. Let's go. <laughs> That's just how I was as a person, and, and I, I just didn't want to give up that easily. You know, I, I've never been the kind of person to give up on something I really wanted to do, and, and I knew if I applied myself, I'm a firm believer in hard work, and that was it, really. Just quitting didn't cross my mind at any point. The absolute truth. It never even crossed my mind. You need to find people who do not listen to your excuses. Like, if I ever tried to say an excuse to my dad or anyone, look at, you just look at me like, so? You know, like that, like that doesn't matter. Uh -huh. even, even even when I was fighting, I thought, if I was fighting, I was training for my last fight, I had a really bad ankle. I fucked my ankle up and I couldn't run properly. I said to Amir, my, my coach, I said, I can't run properly my ankle. Da -da. He goes, okay, let's just call your opponent and tell him that, you know, you have an excuse so he has to go easy on you. Because he isn't going to. He isn't going to give a shit about all your excuses. If, if I get in the ring with him and he, he aims to kill me or hurt me as bad as he can, he's not going to pull a punch or think I better not hurt him because he, because he couldn't train properly. He doesn't care. And life is the same. All your excuses do not change life hitting you as hard as it can hit you. Your excuses carry zero weight. And these people who are excuse makers, they have these whole, they have these support networks of people around them who listen to their excuses. Oh, I can't do this. Why? Because of X, Y, Z. Yeah, it's true. You need someone to say no. You, you can do it. You just don't want it enough. And it's the absolute truth. Excuse makers have become in the habit of using excuses because they're people who will listen. And I've never had anyone who listened to my excuses. And life is exactly the same. I, I say to people all the time, you know, people go, oh, yeah, but this, 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 this. And, and they have their reasons for whatever. And I just sit and go, you know, you can sit and we'll use weight, weight loss, for an example. I, 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 when I was training, I had lots of people ask me about weight loss. I don't know. I'm not nearly as knowledgeable as you about nutrition or none of that stuff. I just trained my ass off and, and ate clean. You know, I didn't, I didn't know the ins and outs. But people would go, oh, yeah, but I can't lose weight because this, this. And I say, look, you know, if you ate less calories, you worked as hard as I do in the gym. You would not be that size. That That's a fact. So you can come at me with all your excuses about how you have no time and you're fired and all this bullshit. Or you can do it. Because when people look at you, they just see the result. They just see someone who's in shape or someone who's not in shape. They don't look at you and see all your excuses and all your bullshit. Then no one's interested. No one has time to listen to them. So you, you just have to push forward and, and be successful regardless. So what, what I'd say to, to the excuse makers is next time you're, 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 you catch yourself using the excuse for something, pay attention to who's listening to you because they're facilitating your garbage. You come at me with your excuse. Come at me with your excuses and we'll see how long they last. Because the truth is I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm not interested. You either want to do it or you don't want to do it. And if you really wanted to do it, you'd be doing it already. So this is my this is my, my belief system completely and utterly. Especially on Twitter. I get loads of people saying, I really want to do this, but. And I say, no, you don't. Because if you really want to do it, there wouldn't be a but. There wouldn't be a but. You'd already be doing it, you know? So these people, right. they just get in the habit of having. People still take this mindset. Hey, you're right. You don't have to achieve because of your excuse. And it's garbage. It's bullshit. And, and, and the point of my thread was, we're all on the same human time scale. You know, we're, no, we're, if you're a full grown man, you're lucky to live to 80, 90. You know, you got a certain amount of years and how many years are you going to spend saying excuses and praying that, you know, people are going to believe you. It's okay. You're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. And, and then it's going to be the end. So if you're going to do it, you need to do it, you know? So I decided I was going to be a fighter and I decided I, I'm, I don't want to get my ass kicked. As simple as that, you know? In the gym, I mean, I've, I've had plenty of injuries. I, you know, I've lost fights. I've been, I've been hurt in the gym and all goes through it. But you just have to have that, that attitude towards it reflection and, and reconstruction and self-analyzation and, and no room for self-pity because that's where it goes. Exactly what you said about 
people wanting to quit. They quit because they feel sorry for themselves. They go, I went to the gym, they're better than me, they beat me, I can't go, poor me, poor me. And that I never I've never had that mindset. I've never had the poor me mindset. I'm not a poor me guy. So it's always like, okay, they beat me. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna change some things. I'm gonna go beat them. You know, and this is just the way I was really raised. I was raised with this with this you know, maybe maybe it's the chess, maybe it's the nature of chess and chess tournaments and, and the way I self-analyze, or maybe it's just, you know, my upbringing and such, but it was never a poor me situation. It, it just didn't exist in my household. It, was, it just wasn't a thing. It was never a, this happened to me, poor me. It was this happened to me, well, do something about it, you know? Which is how it's always, always been. So to me, it comes so naturally. I find it amazing because men, especially more than women, living their lives out there with this self-pity and this uh, hanging on their shoulders. I think, what the fuck, how can you exist in that mind frame, I don't, I don't understand how you can be, even be remotely happy with yourself existing that way.